Hello YouTube. Um, I put up some pictures recently of a tarp I just got, a Warbonnet Superfly. People asked me to do a video on it, so here we are. I thought what might be quite cool, considering I've got some other bits, is to do kind of like an infrastructure setup of all my kit. So my tarp, my hammock, my seat and my table. It's a super Warbonnet uh, Superfly. A tarp, a Warbonnet Blackbird hammock, a Helinox camp chair, and a Helinox table. Um, I'll probably jump cut and all the rest of it to show you some close ups of all of it. And um, right now, I'm just going to throw it on fast forward and get the tarp up. Let's have a go. The, what I'm using to suspend my tarp is this continuous ridge line from Dutchware. All this is, is a small titanium hook and that just goes around the tree clips onto itself on the other end I've got a um, Dutchware wasp which is a um, another cool little bit of titanium which I shall show in a second so yeah that just goes around the tree clips to itself and then that's it the other side this is the Dutchware wasp let me just unravel that for you and this is a cool bit of kit, as it hooks around the tree exactly the same as before. There's our wasp. And then all that happens is this goes around the tree, hooks into the little mouth there. Not sure if you can see it. So hooks into there, and then the tree being in there, that's what tightens up. And then to lock it off, it just goes around a little antenna, see right at the front, back around and underneath that wing into there and locks off. So, let me show you how quick it is to uh, set those up. Right, I've just found that this is uh, in the wrong position for the tree and what I need to do is shift it down the line a little bit. So these things are really cool. In that, they've got a little bit of thread that hooks over the tail there. So if I'll unhook that. And then once that's done, the whole thing is free to slide along the line. So I just put some slack through the back. Like this. That should be plenty. Pull it back through. And then to lock it off, I just hook it back over the tail. So. I'll just take a little bit of slack there and put that over the tail just like that and we're locked off and ready to go incredibly simple now all I'm going to do is that's just held in the hammock sleeve pull it all off and I'll just set it all up These things I'm using to uh, for the pegs, they're called tarp worms from Dutch. They're a little bit tricky to show you, so I'll do this um, on a different bit of woodland later. Right, as you can see, the whole thing's looking a bit raggy. The joy of the continuous ridge line is it's got prussics, which are, let's see, here and here. So all you need to do is just kind of pull it apart, and that's why I've set all the pegs up loosely, so let's do that, see what happens. Right, there we go. It needs a little bit of tweaking on the corners, but for today, that's all we need. Um, let's get the hammock done. Couldn't be easier on this one. Just a carabiner on a strap around the tree and clips to itself.
Right, now there's two bits on the blackboard that we need to stake out, the um, little pocket and the foot end. So here we go. Right, obviously that's not set up properly. You can see it's incredibly close to this tree, quite far away from that one. Obviously you tweak it about, but that's not important for this video. So next thing, let's have a look at tables and chairs. Right, I'll cut into my garden and show you these later on. I'm just gonna throw these up quickly so you can see what they are. Table. Right, I'm just going to do a quick tidy up and then I'll do you a little walk around of the camp. So it's all a little bit better set up now and I'm well out of breath. Um, I'm just going to throw a couple of photos in and um, show you what it all looks like inside. So, as you can see now, in its kind of standard form, um, there's quite a lot of space. There's loads of room in a hammock. Uh, loads of room outside even though you've got those pullouts on there and there's enough space in there for my um, little table You can see that I've um, used a bit of bungee on the inside to pull the doors together Obviously when it's all locked up like this um, You're fully enclosed, but you've got the option to have a little bit of wind come through and at this point it becomes just standard tarp If you wanted to you could lift up the front or back so you could go into kind of porch mode but what I want to show you now is um, the difference that the pole mods make. So this is a pole mod. All it is is um, two poles. I got these from Dutchwear Gear. They fold down into four sections. So they're that big when they're folded and I'll get the exact length when they're unfolded. And they've just got two little um, grommets there on the, well, just two little inserts on the end now to stop everything flipping off. Um, what I've done is I've added a little loop just there of shock cord and another one just there on both sides. And all I did was took a massive loop of shock cord, tried it out. If it didn't work, I put another knot in. If it didn't work, I put another knot in and just made it shorter and shorter and shorter. Mine have come out roughly eight inches long. So let's put them on, see what happens. Right, nice and small, that was about 10 to 15 seconds. As I hope you can see, the tarp's um, not particularly set up well, um, which is why it looks a little bit off, but you should be able to see that just here and here, it's picked up the side of the tarp. So I'm gonna run around now and take a couple more photos and we can see the difference. This is the before, and this is the after. Right then, so now we've seen what it's like inside, let's see how easy it is to pack away.
and a table and chairs. There we go, full set up and breakdown. Um, I think it takes roughly um, maybe five or six minutes. 10 if you've got to do all the, um, untangle some uh, wires and all the rest of it. But there we go. So uh, we'll jump back now into my garden and I'll show you a little bit more of those um, tables and chairs. Right, we're uh, back in my garden. I just wanted to go quickly over the um, table and chair. I'm not going to do a full review or anything of these because it's already quite a long video, but I can tell you what they are. Um, the chair you saw is the Helinox Camp Chair. Uh, there's four of them in the range. This is the third size, so third biggest, and there's one bigger than that which I think is called maybe the Sunset Chair. One smaller which is called the Chair One, which packs up about that size. And then there's a Ground Chair possibly, which is even smaller, and they're all made by Helinox. So I wanted the comfort, so I went for the camp chair. Just to show you more about how that whole thing went together. It comes in its um, bag, and as you saw, it's really easy to pack up again. It's not like once you unpack it, it's a nightmare to get back in. So you whip it out. You've got two components to it. Your pole sections and your fabric sitting down so I'm not sure how this setup will go on this but I can give you a rough idea. Um, for mine I just hold the central section which will be easy to um, work out and then just let it all dangle. From there you just pop in all of the legs and stuff. It couldn't be any simpler. One side done and two side done. And that gives you your basic frame. You've got the top of the chair here and here, and then the base there. The actual seat part of it is kind of like a, a bucket. So you turn it back the right way out. At the top of it, you've got this solid bar, and at the bottom, it's reinforced um, like pockets. And as you saw in the video, all you do is slip it over the top two poles I'll slip it over the bottom. There's loads of reviews out there for them and showing you how they all set up so I won't waste your time. Um, right so that's the camp chair. The table is just as simple. Um, comes in its own little bag. There's no reason you couldn't just throw this in your pack somewhere. Unzips and there she blows. It rolls out and this one's got three frame parts and it's fabric. The three frame parts are two of these and these are just um, little poles. And then the main component, exactly the same as before, hold it in the middle and then just locate it. So hold it in the middle, locate all the parts. There we go. Once that's done, take your poles, you hook over one end, and then at this point you kind of need to stretch it. You'll see there, just in that join, I'm actually stretching it open and pop it on. It doesn't matter that there's a gap there, you'll, that disappears and you'll see why in a second. So that hooks over again, stretch it, on it goes, and those obviously don't fall off there once they're on, they're on. You've got your fabric. That just, there's little um, uh, gaps there for you to clip it on, and on these you've got little hooks. So it just pushes in there and there, turn it round, and then this is where these bits here, these uh, stretches, they close up because you have to stretch it out just a touch to clip it in. 
and well that's it really once it's done you've got yourself a nice solid table there's some drinks holders in there um, it's got little reinforcements that run just here and here and the same again on the other side it's not um, what you call solid but to be fair I mean that's solid enough I wouldn't try well, maybe you could try cutting kind of steak on it, but I don't know. It's certainly sturdy enough. You can get like a hard top version of this, which I believe has little um, plates sewn in in between here. So it's still full, it's still foldable and it's still um, portable, just a little bit stiffer. To take all these things apart, just pop them out. And on the seat, you just pull off the cover, pull apart apart and then to put away all of these again I hold the central section and then just fold them up into the center. I, as you saw in the video I did this all standing up um, and it's really no drama to do. I, some of these things might get a bit tedious and maybe you don't want to be dropping your like fabrics and stuff on the floor which you don't have to do with this. Um, so yeah, quick roll up, again you saw me doing that standing, and then to fit in the bag, which way is out, there we go, just poke it in, and zip straight up, so easy to get back in this bag as well. Little handle, top and bottom, and there's some kind of molly strap in there, which is, let's face it, no use to man or beast. Um, there we go, those are Hellenox tables. Hope you enjoyed the um, video and the setup, and even though it was a little bit kind of ragtag. But yeah, if you've got any questions, let me know and I'll see if I can answer them for you. Cheers uh, from the Man Cave.